Hi! No, 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 no. No, we, 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 we. It was a moose that attacked me. It was this big. Not a little black tail dove. Alrighty. Hello and welcome to today's channel. Today's channel. Oh my god, I'm already screwing up. Hello and welcome to today's video on this channel. Hello and welcome to the channel and for today's video. Something along those lines. I recognize this area, but according to the game, I haven't spent that much time here. And I would like to get up to that lookout point. Maybe look at that lake over there. And I guess there's some areas over here I haven't been to. There actually would appear that there's probably going to be a couple points of interest and potentially a uh, outpost that I don't have. So I think we're going to start by going up the trail this way, see what we see, and then I need to cross. I, I've i said it before and I'll say it again, I swear I've already done all this. I've been through all this. You have no sound. You can't hear the game. One second. Why this is still a thing. Every time Windows does an update, they change my settings. You have sound now. Yes, okay. Every time I do an update. It, okay. So, it would actually probably be smart to stick by this lake for a minute, but everyone does that. Now, where am I going? Yep, I'm going that way. You know, it's a good thing they give us a map, otherwise I would be very confused. Alright, that is a mating call from a black tail. <gasps> I don't have my spreadsheet up. I forgot that again. One of these days, I'll just memorize it all. He's right over there. There. Not a bad looking deer. I don't see where he went. Where is he going? Uh, he's got to be going to the water to the right. Alright. We are going to make our way towards the water. Let's see where he went. Oh. Well, there's a doe right back there. Uh, brings my confidence down. I shouldn't have moved. I should have stayed put. Yeah, look at, the, look at that wind. That rotated right around on me. Ah, uh, son of a gun. <laughs> Alright, that's a little cheaty, but there's apparently a doe back there. They want to get to the water. If I have them on the left and I work my way in, my sentry will create kind of like a barrier, I'm hoping. And I'll be able to just keep them coming across and eventually they'll cross upwind of me. That's the hope. There you are. So you're over there somewhere? Your doe's over here. Give him a little hoop and holler and see if we can't get him to come in a bit closer. There's a ridgeline or something in the trees there, and I can't see him, plus there's this hill right here in front of me. I wonder if I can get to that bush to my right. Oh, well, the wind is still rotating. Oh. Oh, that's another doe. Wait. Doe. Oh, hello. I made a rush shot there. But you will see why, assuming they should have gone straight down. Yeah. Alright. Don't know if you caught that. But I found something better than my buck. On top of that, I needed to move anyways. Because I need to get up into like this tree over here. And they'll possibly come back through and I can still get that buck. But, oh yeah, dropped her. Dropped her in her spot. Yep. That way? That was... Oh, there's apparently moose around here. I might have heard a moose. Look at that. Something for the lodge right off the bat. Frame drop galore. 
That is a piebald blacktail. Double lung and liver. Piebald. Yep, you're coming home with me. So that's something for the lodge. Now I want to get into this tree over here. See that? There's a dense trail right there. So I'm going to sit here for just a second. And see if I can't get him to come back. Alright, I'm going to give one more call and see what moves in. But we might have to look elsewhere for that buck. Another doe. Another doe. Like I saw one with frickin' antlers, didn't I? Did he go down to the water? Alrighty, well, the only thing down here at the water... We got a couple small female moose. Cows. A one tiny bull. And then apparently... Somewhere around here is a fox. Coyote. What are they called here? Coyote. Yeah. And, yep, that's about it. So, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to continue up the trail and see what exactly I can stumble across next. What am I stuck on? Really? Okay, hang on a second. What? What? I might make this 400 yard shot just to get rid of that guy. Um. What? Oh my lord, I swear I just saw him over there. There he is. You know what? I'm gonna try it. So, what we're gonna do is hold high basically at his neck here. No. Wait, was that a hit? Was not a hit. I... I have a button on my mouse. Uh, right here. And it's called DPI shift. It allows me to kind of basically push it. Shifts the DPI down to help me steady my aim a little more. And the problem is, is sometimes I crab claw the mouse. Is that what it's called? Bird claw? Whatever you want to call it. Anyways, when I go to squeeze that button, I hit the trigger instead. It's gone. Are you kidding me? Did I really just screw that up? I'm sitting here for a minute. I'm going to find this guy. He's too elusive. All right, on the plus side, there's one of the female of the old group. I don't know where that buck went again. That is one sneaky bugger. I mean, because he's got to be right down here. And I'm just not seeing him. There are three in that group. Doe. Doe. Wait. I, I can't even make out that that thing has a rack. That thing has a rack? Hang on. And there goes my visibility. Okay. So now, where there was a three... Wait, did I... I landed that shot. Yeah, I've only killed one animal. There's two spots of hunting pressure. Oh my lord, I gotta get down there. Okay. No wonder why I can't find him. He's dead somewhere. Oh, he's dead somewhere. Well, no, I saw which way he ran off, so hopefully that'll help, and I know roughly where I took the shot. I have been sitting here like a madman, scouring that area. Because I was 
99% sure I missed. But that two tells me that that's the respawn. So he's going to be a small, small three because of whatever weight class he was. That two. That two wasn't there this morning. All right. I'm going to go find this deer. All right. So coming up on where I took the shot or where I guess I might have shot this animal. Uh, here's a track. That's apparently not a good... That's a track. Okay. That's interesting. That's the second track now I've picked saying he's been going back up that hill. He came out from behind these trees when I shot him. Alright. This is the shot. No organs hit. But it does appear that he went off this way. I, I thought I saw him run back this way, and I just basically ran around a bunch until I stumbled across the track. But, yeah, he definitely... He definitely took off. Bleed rate very low. No organs hit. I wonder where I hit him. I'm gonna say low. I think I hit him really low. That's not a log, is it? Nope. There he is. I cannot get a good view on him, but here we go. Wow. So, I meant to pull the trigger while aimed up here, figuring that drop and his trot would bring it down to here. I ended up squeezing the trigger aimed over here, and drop and trot brought it back to here. So actually, where I was aiming, that still would have been high. But I got him in the leg. Non-vital organ. Well, it's money. Alright, now once and for all... Yep. Thank you. Once and for all, after all that, back up the trail I go. So I distinctly remember coming up here, actually. I've been up and I have gotten this lookout post. Because it was on this ridge line here, and I think it was right up here, that I had my first moose hunt on this re reserve. And I want to say that it was a small bull. And I shot one, the cow attacked me, and it ended up going dark while I had to track it. Hi! No, 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 no. No, we, 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 we. <coughs> it was a moose that attacked me. It was this big. Not a little black tail doe. What are the chances? Anyways, <laughs> so I was tracking the one I shot. And in the process of that, it went nightfall, and I ended up finding it, like, halfway down the cliff or something. But I remember sitting on this ridge line as it was going dark, trying to figure out how I was going to find it. Now, granted, that was three years ago, but I, I do remember this area. Yeah, because this is the field right here. This is this clearing. I had heard it on the side of that hill right up there. I remember this clearly. I don't think it ever made it to video. I don't think I was making regular videos at, uh, of Call of the Wild at the time. I think at the time we were doing art. There's something right over here. I think, I think it's another black tail. Whatever it is, it's right there. I'm gonna go check it out just on the off chance that it's another buck, but... I'm going to take a whack. It's another doe. It's close. I think I'm about to walk right up on it. What? Oh, look at that. There's a doe. Alright, hang on. Spookity spookity spook. 
Spookity spookity spook. Just a lonely doe. Alright. Back to the path. I'm starting to get the feeling it's a little windy up here. Just a little bit. You know, with all this wind, it makes me realize that I'm probably not going to be able to hear an animal if they were to be walking around right next to me because of the wind. But my sound meter stays the same. I, I think it should be said that if the environment is creating noise to where you can't hear them, they shouldn't be able to hear you. That's just me, though. Now, unfortunately, the wind being what it is, my scent trail is being blown straight to this body of water, but I do want to poke my head over here and just see what's around, if anything, on my way to that lookout post. I've already seen a couple suspicious-looking bushes, but so far nothing with actual blood in its veins. I swear I've been up here before. It might be too late in the day, but I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing. Like, a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Alright, on to the lookout post then. Just sounds like I'm in a freaking wind tunnel. It's a little crazy. And me without a kite. This is a nice vantage point, though. How far is that? Yeah, that's actually within render range, so if there were animals down in that field, I could see them clear as day. Trail's a little washed out. Ah, a little piece of civilization. I've always wondered... That's a stick, or... Oh, it's a grilling grate. I knew that. I love how there's trash cans out here. Like, who actually comes out here and takes care of all this? Because I never see anyone. Beautiful. <laughs> and part of that mountain deformed as it was getting towards the end there. Yep. A whole lot of nothing. But next time we're going to go up this way and see what's in between these two. Because there, as I said... Usually when you see the trail's dead end, there's something there. So I'm going to take a whack. At least one of those three is another outpost that I don't have for some reason. Ah. Rain. On that note, to the trophy lodge, I think. All right, well, there you have it. A piebald for the new lodge. No score, nothing fancy there, but a piebald nonetheless, and... I can! Oh, that's... Oh, I can't bring out... Wait. Okay. Post me. Zoom in right there. You can see through their eyes. Why can I see through its eyes? Yeah, right there. It's it's like the eyeballs are stuck facing forwards and they're only half spheres. So instead of it filling the eye socket, you can see across the front of them, but through the head. Because uh, when we were looking at them down there and I was like, I thought I could see through the front. It was because I could have sworn I could see like blades of grass passing behind the head. Yeah, you can, you can see through their head. That's a little disturbing. Okay. Can I put the thing away? I don't know how I pulled it out. There we go. All right. Well, that being said, that does it for this one. For the last one, we're going to go and check out that other area, as I've said before. So, there's buttons if you liked it. Buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons. Until next time, buttons to push. Just have a good day. <laughs>